Here I want an employee onboarding page to be filled in and then click this submit onboarding button. I created a flow in Power Automate Desktop just to click the button for now. It will attach to the browser and then click. Everything works fine. But let's say that the UI changes. That could be this button moves or got another ID. Let me click the change button. Now the UI changes here. Then when I run my flow, it will fail. It will be stuck. But with AI self healing selectors, we can combat this just automatically using AI. Here you can see the arrow. What we do is that we close this flow. Then we go to my flows, the flow overview. Here we click on properties and now we have repair flow arrows. Enable that. I choose to repair with Copilot. I click save and then I can start my flow from Power Automate Cloud. Here I created a simple flow that will just manually trigger and run my desktop flow. What happens here is that if I click test, choose manually, I click test, and then we will connect. I'll fast forward. Here we go. Power Automate discovers that the UI element is not present, so it tries to repair it. And here we go. AI fixed it. It says that the suggested fix is to add the register UI element instead. Here I can choose in this drop down to either choose to apply it for every run, apply once, or if I want to repair it manually. Well, I want to apply it for every run. Now this selector will be a fallback selector in my flow. So if I click close here, you can see it clicks the register. And if I open up my desktop flow again up here, if I go over to UI elements over here, double click the button submit onboarding, I can now see I have a self healed generated. You can see it clearly changes. I can choose to delete the other selector or I can click these three dots and move the select up so it looks for this address first. Microsoft Power Automate Desktop will never be the same.